Well, we are doing a day of exposure into veterinary medicine. Our title is Believe and Belong in Veterinary Medicine. Our profession is one of the least diverse medical professions, and so it was very important for me when we have opportunities to come to veterinary conferences to reach out to the local community and see how we can bring a program where they can experience what it's like to be in veterinary medicine. And when I decided at 12 I wanted to be a vet, there was no veterinarian that really looked like me. I knew that when I became a vet, I was going to pay that forward. That is why we're able to come here today and be able to showcase what we're able to do now. They explain to us what vet veterinarians do. They do help animals, but they help them in different ways and with infections, with surgeries. Now that we've done this, I can see now that it's they're a big deal and like we need them. We noticed that in communities like LMEC, centers of veterinarian paths, they probably think of it's just a way to pet a dog or take care of a little puppy, but they don't realize there's a lot of science behind it and it is a medicinal career. Now our children who haven't been exposed to such careers are now able to understand that this is actually a great field for them, especially the bilingual, multilingual, and it's great to see uh, people that look like them that are being represented in this field path. Es una gran oportunidad para explicarle a los estudiantes, a los alumnos, qué es en realidad un veterinario y cuál es su campo de acción, porque el campo de acción en medicina veterinaria es muy grande, es muy amplio y en esta ocasión yo pienso que les explicamos a los alumnos qué es ser veterinario y dónde pueden trabajar. Es un campo muy amplio, desde trabajar en refugios de animales, trabajar en laboratorios, trabajar en clínicas de emergencia y hasta trabajar en clínicas de nutrición. Research shows that as early as the third grade, some kids start to develop that aspiration to become veterinarians. And that ability to expose them to veterinary medicine is what Blend is all about. That's what I really want people to focus on during events like these, is that it's about exposure, not aptitude. We know that they are motivated, they're driven, they're determined, and now they just need the exposure to veterinary medicine to really send this home. Each station learns about different stuff. There's an ER, normal vet, and the surgeries. You learn more about the, like the bones, the ER, learn about the, the organs. Coming into it, I felt really good about it. It's everything I wanted. I view it as a um, really important job and you have to really take it seriously. Seeing how, like, how big dogs and little dogs and like cats and everything have different um, ways you have to um, bring them back to life. Uh, veterinary medicine is the widest profession in America. I go way beyond what I can do to show my kids that they can do and be anything because it's really true. If you don't see it, it's really hard to become it. Like I'm the only Brazilian to be a specialist in zoological medicine. So I depended on my fellow Americans or even my fellow Latinos to help me through that journey because it's really hard. Kids love animals. For BlendVed and American Association of Animal Hospitals to say we want to go to a school in a community like Logan Heights and we want kids there to know that there's a future for them in this profession. And we've got Dr. Bruno and we've got other people who are role models for young people to see themselves in this profession. The mission and statement and the cause itself is very personal to me. Being that San Diego is my hometown and the opportunity I have to come to my hometown and just give back, be able to show children, you can do this. I was in your shoes at one point. It just fills my cup. Well, I knew that they would do surgeries, make medicine, find the right foods for different animals and pets. In one of the stations, they were talking about clipping their nails. I really liked the surgery, but then also learning about all the pet foods. People from Hills came. They showed us videos. It really shows kids that like, there's different opportunities that you could take. And to hear those kids out there, some of them asking me, are these real bones? Can I put this plate on more bones? Seeing that drive, seeing that ignite, that passion and that inspiration, that's what these Pathway events are all about. Seeing the kids, how they'd get so excited, especially after um, the surgery uh, station, they would keep all their gear on and, and they'd say, no, I don't even want to take my gloves off. I love the enthusiasm. One memorable comment I received, it was a custodian and he came up to me and he said, thank you so much for just giving them something to think about. And that really stuck with me. Doing this really like opens me up to actually really going to that path of being, becoming a veterinarian. 
So we are also working towards having those TED Talks and career pathways, and we hope this is the beginning of a wonderful uh, collaboration with Glenvid and other organizations that can definitely broaden the horizons of our children here at LMEC. I'm just really appreciative to the Logan Memorial Educational Campus for this opportunity. The students are so excited about the event, and so I'm just thankful for uh, this day. To turn that passion into something that could be, you know, an incredibly exciting, rewarding career uh, is, is just a great opportunity for our students. Blend's goal is to make sure that we end up in practices. We're changing every step of that pathway, starting from the very beginning like today, and going through the entire journey of veterinary medicine and making an impact at each stage of that precious pipeline. Seeing the wonder and amazement in their eyes, that's what this is all about.